Got a Boss Katana 50 here on the bench. Haven't worked on the Katana series before. Heard this at the store where I do local work as it was dropped off and there's a hum in the output, which I suspect means that there's going to be DC present on the speakers. Let's see if I'm correct about that. I have it off the speaker now. I don't want to damage the speaker if there's DC present, which is all too possible. Tiny, tiny little connector on this thing. So it can't be too much. So I'm just going to touch the negative, power it on, touch the positive. Negative 28.45 volts DC. Now, some solid state circuits have to have a load for there to be accurate DC present. Given that I'm hearing the hum with the speaker connected, I don't think that's the case. I'm sure one of the rails has failed in the output. Let's see what the speaker measures. 4.8 ohms. So I'm sure it's nominally an 8 ohm speaker. Could be nominally a 4 ohm. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know that this amp is going to be worth the price of repair, given how inexpensive a Katana 50 Mark II is new and whatever they're going for used. It says 47 watts. Um, if you're in the market for an inexpensive versatile amp, these can be great choices. But, you know, you are, it's kind of like a cell phone or a laptop. You're uh, really just renting one for a, a small amount of time. And then when it fails, typically you get another. Um, I charge a $50 deposit for solid state stuff or any amp that's not really intrinsically worth two or three hours of labor. So if I open this up and do a diagnostic and the cost of service would uh, approach or exceed the value of the amp and they decline to have anything else done, uh, then I'm not out my time to get to that point. If I open it up and the whole thing is caught on fire, uh, I will refund them the $50 deposit because I don't feel like I need to get paid 50 bucks to open it up and say, yep, it's toast. But if I spend actual time uh, determining things, then, you know, I will be justified because that's time I'm not spending on other things. Um, and if uh, whatever it turns out to be uh, does get approved for repair, that $50 counts towards that repair. So it's, it's a reasonable thing because I've, I've had uh, apps come in where I spend an hour determining that uh, it costs $400 to repair an app that they paid $200 for. Uh, they declined the service. I'm out the time it took to sp spend on that and then they never picked the app up from the shop. Anyway, this thing's held on in place, held in place here by four screws on the rear going into the wood and two screws on the top holding the chassis to the cabinet. I'm going to remove all those, open it up, and see what we see. To anyone uh, seeing this video who wants to open one of these, in addition to the four screws on the sides and the two obvious screws, it's also the uh, first two screws of the handle that have to come out. Then this whole box will slide out. Next issue is getting into said box. A little transistor or something in there. And uh, as a general rule of thumb, as the price of an amplifier goes down, the number of screws necessary to access the inside of the amplifier go up. And you got to figure out the order. It looks like this wood panel comes off next. Um, I'm assuming this is a big heat sink, and hopefully this will be wired with a ribbon cable or something rather than hardwired. I'll find out. So let me find the bit that fits these little screws and undo all these. Well, looking at this board, could I fix this? Yeah, whatever the problem is. Uh, without a schematic, and I'm sure Boss is not going to give me a schematic, uh, figuring out what was wrong, and it's either on this main, main board or on this daughter board that has the big heat sink transistor on it. Figuring out what, what's wrong would take several, several hours. And it's finicky to disassemble. Say I needed to change out one resistor that's over there. You know, it's basically changing one resistor on the computer or cell phone that you're watching this video on or the television. 
Um, I went to a, a website that sells OEM parts. A lot of times uh, on amps like this, various ICE modules, TC electronics things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They're not designed to be field serviceable. You just change out the board, and you can buy the boards typically for fifty dollars to two hundred dollars, depending on the complexity of the board. Complexity of the board, and maybe this card would have been available for seventy-five dollars. Change out this card, put it back together. It works. Bob's your uncle. Um, that website, in this case, just sells new Boss Katana Fifty Mark Twos, and their list price is two forty-nine ninety-nine. And I think that's with free shipping or very cheap shipping. So um, I'm going to declare that this Boss Katana is an X Katana. It is finding for, pining for the Japanese fjords. It has joined the Samurai Choir Invisible. So uh, I'm going to let the owner know that it is not worth fixing. And since I did not have to do anything heroic other than figure out how many screws to take apart and how it all goes back together, I am going to uh, tell them to, uh, that the store will reverse the $50 deposit and let them have their money back. Because that's 50 bucks is a fifth, fifth of a way back uh, to uh, getting another one of these. And I'll return this, which they can use as spare parts. They'll have the speaker. What if the new one, uh, this goes stays good but they have a problem on the board and you can mix and match a little bit so i'm gonna be nice um i'm gonna waive that 50 bucks i could have made off this because now i know in the future not even to open up a boss katana mark ii and uh, i'll get some revenue from this video hey everyone click like and subscribe and everyone recommend this video to your friends and let people know that here's the secret to fixing a boss katana mark ii 50. Uh, and then maybe I'll get enough revenue to make up that 50 bucks over the next three to six months. So, well, I had a hunch on this that even with the output section not working, and this is still disconnected, that the power amp, though it's defective, uh, is not working. The rest of it is, which means that the phones record out are still working. And I'm sure the USB and aux in are as well. And, you know, so the owner of this is a kid. He can hook up some headphones like I've got here and still get some use out of it. He can hook it up to his computer or whatever, um, which uh, makes the uh, loss of the power section a little less terrible. He can still practice and do whatever. Um, and I'll do a couple more searches to see if someone has that output board somewhere. And, uh, you know, miracles do happen, but is not very they're not very common at this price point and so i'm just going to move the lav mic in between the uh, cups of my headphones i mean i could hook this up to my computer to record this more properly i'm not going to so here's a, a sense of what it sounds like mm -hmm.